On Monday morning in classrooms around the country, Form 4 candidates start racking their brains over mathematics paper 1. This is the very first paper of the 2017 Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Examinations, an exercise which kicked off in 9,350 exam centres countrywide, with slightly over 615,000 students sitting the exams. The successful start attributed to elaborate preparations. Get a good girls! They had braved the morning chill and the pouring rain in some regions. Head teachers and education officials assembling at their sub-county headquarters before dawn to collect examination materials for their candidates. All over the country, cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries were deployed to supervise the exercise. Yes, give it your best. That's all. While well, Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi visited schools in Kericho, accompanied by Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter. November is a month when we focus on our children, uh, and that's why all of us are involved and in working with you to ensure that we help our children not just do the exams, but go over this very important stage in their lives uh, successfully. His East Africa Cooperation and Labour counterpart, Phyllis Kandie, started the day with students at Moy Nairobi Girls High School, the leaders stopping to offer a word of encouragement, while urging political leaders to create a conducive environment for the students to succeed. This is uh, a very important exam for them. Uh, it determines their future, and therefore I think it's upon us. It's, 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 the onus is on us to give them the peace, and, and, and the love. Their supervision of the administration of exams was unprecedented, coming in a year when no cases of exam leakage have been reported. In Narok, 44 adult learners received another chance to rekindle their dreams. Moses Olenayoma, a father of two, among those sitting their KCSE exams at Nakase High School. <laughs> nikakuja nikaona kwamba kuna mali ambapo singeweza uh, kufika katika maisha yangu bila kumaliza kidato cha nne. Aliposa nikapata motisha ya kukuja kuendelea masomo yangu. While at the Naivasha prison a record 22 inmates sat the exam. But the exercise was not without hiccups. Three KCSE candidates from St. Joseph's High School in Kitale did not sit the exam with the rest of their classmates as they did not turn up. Two of the candidates were facing indiscipline cases while the whereabouts of the third candidate is unknown. In Kadika, Migori County, a family mourned the death of a candidate. 18-year-old Basil Omondi Ogama succumbed to malaria and typhoid on the eve of the exams. In Tiati, Baringo County, a section of schools received their exam papers late after River Nginyang swelled, making it difficult to ferry the materials. And at the coast, this exam official was forced to wade across the river to deliver the examination papers to the students. The Kwele area is was Kinango. Uh, there's a helicopter stationed there. There's another helicopter stationed uh, in, uh, in Wajia, which is doing that area. And we are, we are taking a helicopter to Turkana because up to last uh, night, the, the area was reasonable, but it is pouring down there. The Ministry of Education has said it is working with the military to transport exam materials to areas that have experienced flooding. The exams are set to end on the 29th of November. With the start of the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Examinations, the Kenya National Examinations Council and the Ministry of Education will be hoping to repeat the feat that they accomplished with the primary education exams, that of securing the exam and curbing examination cheating. Wilkinson Abwa Citizen TV in Nairobi.